So I have this problem that my gnome is broken for a second straight day today, and I gave up on trying to fix it. I guess I will wait for some magical update to get things back on working, maybe? But in the meantime, I was needing some running desktop on this PC, because I have lots of stuff here I can't move that easily. And typically I started to trying out alternatives. Sway, XFCE, Hyperland, Budgie, some more. But I think there is something evil happening, probably on System D because most of those weren't working, either with Dbus or Mesa errors. And long story short, I ended up with the LXQT. That surprisingly was kinda working, I say kinda, okay? So I managed to pull off a video, that video about notifications grouping you may watched before. But, oh my god! It was really a pain in the ass trying to operate all those programs I use for video creation in a desktop without an overview. So, I did it! I did the one thing that nobody dares to do, nobody wants to do, nobody will ever do. Unless, um, unless, um, okay, I'm out of arguments here. But anyway, the point is that I installed KDE. You see a GNOME user at some point of their life will go through a phase, a dark phase, that they want to try new things, even install KDE. But they will never ever ever put KDE on the same installation with GNOME. First of all, getting both GNOME and KDE in the same installation will drive you to insanity. Second, it's almost impossible to fully revert the changes. And third, even if you revert the changes somehow, won't matter anymore. This PC will now be cursed forever. You can throw it. Throw it 300,000 miles away. But it will hunt you down, and it will find you. Brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr